desert people demanding deserts imagine that you are standing alone in the desert before dawn there is total silence except for the soft color of a dove the fresh breeze feels good on your face the sun begins to rise over the mountains which slowly change from black to light purple <laughs> Then the sun's rays peek out and the, and turn the morning into day. Look around you. Imagine that your family and friends also live here. What are your uh, lives like? Imagine as it was true a few hundred years ago that there are no cars, bicycles, or paved paved roads in this desert. How do you travel from? place to place. Imagine that you feel hungry in this desert. There are no stores or supermarkets. Can you feel that? Can you feel the thirst in the back of your throat? Where can you find water to drink? You look around. There are no drinking fountains and no flowing rivers. There is not a single cloud in the light blue sky. What exactly is a desert? Would you know a desert if you saw one? Would there be camels walking on sandals? Would there be rattlesnakes, saguaro, cacti, and tall mountains? Or would, they, would the land be rocky with only a few shrubs? Shrub centuries. All th three of these <laughs> description descriptions can apply to deserts. Many types of desert deserts exist. Deserts may have rocky mountains, graveled peanut plates, or rolling sand dunes. Some desert areas even have streams and rivers. Scientists disagree on the exact definition of the word desert, but they do agree that deserts share some common traits. Compared to the rest of the world, deserts are dry places. They usually receive less than 25.4 centimeters of precipitation each year. Deserts tend to have dry soil and not much vegetation. Although some deserts can get pretty cold, most deserts are sunny and hot. Desert survival. If deserts are in such hot, dry place, is how have people survived in them? Where did they found fo find food to eat and drink? Drink water to drink. What did they use to build their homes? For thousands of years. Desert people have found answers to these questions. Desert people have found ways to adapt by using local resources of food, water, and shelter. Each desert pre presents different challenges, and each desert has its own answers. In this book, you will learn how uh, about two interesting groups of desert people: the Tohono O'odham and the Benu in you will also read about sand dunes, wild food, villages, hunting, and more. You will even read about dogs that ride on camels. The Tohono O'odham. Tohono O'odham means desert people. The Tohono O'odham are Native Americans who still live in the Sonoran Desert for years. They have watched the sunrise of Babo Kuivari. They scared mountain. They believe that Babo Kuivari is where Elder Brother created them from the clay of the earth. Elder Brother gave the desert to the Odam and taught them how to use its plants. The Odam lived in the villages. They slept in around homes with flat roofs. These homes were made of dried mud, branches, and grass. 
It shone at the main room with the fire pit in the middle. Gently slapped on wooden grass mats. Fires provided light and heat during cold winter nights. The Sonoran Supermarket Like other deserts, the Sonoran Desert can be a difficult place to live. It is hot and dry. Months may pass without any rain. Summer days can reach 49 Celsius. Winter nights can dip below freezing. But compared to many other deserts, the Sonoran is lush and hospital hospitable. Historically, the Tonoho Odam lived in an area where 30.5 centimeters of rain fell each year. The rainfall supported many forms of life. Shredded trees, big, big catty, and even summer flowers all grew there. Insects, birds, rabbits, and coyotes lived there too. Some of the Adam lived near big mountains. In these mountains, they found resources that the desert below did not have. Different plants and animals lived up in the cooler climate on the mountain slopes. The Odom gathered food and hunted bigger animals there. They also collected water from spring, springs and streams. A different kind of shopping. The desert served as a kind of supermarket for the Tonoho Odam. When they did, needed vegetables, they planted seeds. When they needed water, they went to a spring. When they needed meat, they hunted animals. And if they needed pine nuts, they walked up into the mountains to find fine pine trees, fruits, and vegetables. In the early summer, Odam men dug small holes in the ground with sharp sticks. Women dropped seeds in the holes and covered them up. The dry fields flooded and the summer rains come, came. The Odam grew corn, beans, and squash in this way. They also grew wheat, peas, and melons in the winter. Meet the Tonoho Odam hunted rattlesnakes, rabbits, and birds in the desert. In the mountains, they killed deer, big horn sheep, and even bears. The snake up on deer, all the hunters dressed in deer skins and walked on for all fours. Organic specialty, organic specialty items. The Tonoho Odam also gathered wild foods. In the desert, they found child peppers, onions, Mesquite beans and saguaro fruit. Fruit in this in the mountains, they collected the corns, roots, and pine nuts. Odam men men even made four-day trips to the ocean to get salt. Other Native American people wanted these exotic exotic foods too, so the Odam traded their salt and saguaro syrup for corn, beans, wheat and more. This extra food helped the Odam during times of drought. Drinking water. Some Odam villages were lucky enough to near to live near springs and streams. Other villages dug wells in the ground. But many people lived far away from water resources. Young girls often hiked up high up into mountain canyons to fetch water. The ben Bedouin. Think of all the things in your room. Can you imagine moving to a new place every week? Would you get tired of carrying so many things? Would how would you enjoy the traveling life? Traditional Bedouin people are nomadic. nomadic. They moved from place to place on camels in search of food, water, and grazing land. Bedouins had very few possessions. They believed their lifestyle was simple and pure. Bedouins mean people of the desert. Bedouins lived in low black tents. These tents protected them from the sun, wind, and blowing sand. 
In a matter of hours, the Benoin could pack up their camps and move on to next, their next home. Today, many Bedouins still roam the Syrian, Arabian, and Sahara deserts. The Saharan supermarket. The Sahara Desert is the largest desert in the world. It stretches across North America for 9 million square kilometers. The Sahara is almost extremely hot and dry. In some parts, it rains less than 25 millimeters per year. The Sahara Desert is less of a supermarket than the Sonoran Desert. Less rain falls in the Sahara as, as a result. Fewer plains and animals live there. The Bedouin, Bedouin had to travel to the, in desert, the desert in search of food and water. The Sahara is more than sand dunes. It also had rocky plains, tall mountains, and oasis valleys. An oasis is a fertile place in the desert where water supports many kinds of things. The common convenience store. <coughs> Arabian camels were the Bedouin's close companions. These sturdy animals made nomadic life possible. Camels gave the Bedouin shelter, clothing, food, and right. The Bedouin moved camel the hair into tents and clothing. <coughs> They also drank common milk and ate common meat. They even burned common dung to fuel their campfire. Camels were well suited for the desert. They could go for long periods of time with the water. Arabian camels could walk for 50 kilometers in a day and could carry up to 270 kilograms on their backs. Some families owned many commas. Having many commas was a sign of wealth. wealth. Commas were surprised that people fought over them. Some Bedouins went on raids to steal commas from others. Fruits and vegetables. The nomadic Bedouins did not grow many crops, but in late Summer, they camped out near Oasis because date palms grew in those places. These trees put the, produced sweet, tasty fruits. The Bedouin ate some dates fresh and dried to dried others to save for later. Later. Meet the Bedouin hunted wild herds of ostriches, wolves, foxes, and gazelles. They also trained falcons to hunt foxes and small birds for them. Sometimes dogs called Salukis rode with Bedouins to help them track animals. Can you imagine a dog riding on a camel? Drinking water, the Bedouin knew where to find the desert sources. They dug wells to pull water from the ground. They carried the water in bags made of common skin. More than more desert people, the Tono Odam and the Bedouin are just two of the world's traditional desert peoples. There are many other deserts, and there have been many other desert peoples. The Australian Aborigines, for example, walked about their continent for mile in a mile Men hunted with spears and boomerangs. Women gathered food. The Aborigines, the Aborigines, were very little clothing. They slept by the warmth of a campfire. The Tati Atacama Indians lived in the dry Atacama Desert where they raised guina 
Guinea pigs and llamas, they also planted crops. Nomad roamed the cold and windy Kobe desert. They searched for vegetarian vegetation for their sheep, goats, and cattle. They lived in round tents called jars. Bushmen lived in the Kara Kalahari Desert. Women, women gathered plants and roots. Men hunted animals with bows and arrows. A way of life. Imagine again that you are standing alone in the desert. The sun is now shining over the mountains. The doves have found shade under a tree. You feel a bit bead of sweat on your forehead. What will you do on this day? If you grow up in the desert, you would know exactly what to do. Your grandparents would have taught your parents. And your parents would have taught you. You would know how to grow vegetables. You would know which wild berries were safe to eat. You would know where to find the well of or the closest, closest spring. For thousands of years, people have adapted to deserts. They have found food, water, shelter, and more. For these people, the desert is not just about survival, it is their way of life.